femoroacetabular impingement with labral repair can be treated arthroscopically using ConMed's Paradigm Hip System. To begin, distract the hip to gain access and visibility into the hip joint. Use the Paradigm Tactile Needle to create the initial portal into the joint. The tactile needle features a spring-loaded blunt obturator for the open joint space that is designed to reduce the risk of damage to anatomical structures. The tactile needle is cannulated to accommodate a guide wire. After the guide wire is inserted, remove the tactile needle. Then insert a dilator over the guide wire. ConMed's 4.6 mm double-latch cannulated obturator and hip-length metal cannula feature Quick Connect technology and are fully cannulated. Insert the obturator and cannula over the dilator. Then, remove the obturator and dilator. The double latch hip bridge also features Quick Connect technology to allow for easy compatibility with both the scope and metal cannula. Now, the anterolateral portal is established. Use the tactile needle to create the anterior portal. Insert a guide wire over the tactile needle and then remove the needle. Then, place a dilator over the guide wire. A second 4.6 mm double latch straight metal cannula is used. Now the anterior portal is established. Next, use the Paradigm Retractable Straight Blade to cut the hip capsule. This blade features a retractable sheath, which allows surgeons to safely probe with the blunt tip and then use the lever on the handle to reveal the sharp blade when it is time to cut. The retractable blade easily screws into the back of the metal cannula for ease of use. Once the capsulotomy is complete, the Paradigm Easy Switch Portal Savers are introduced. First, use the reference tool to find the appropriate length for the Easy Switch. Then, simply cut the Easy Switch to match the patient's anatomy. Insertion is simple. Load the Easy Switch onto the obturator. Then, adjust the obturator to accommodate the custom length of the Easy Switch. The black laser line should match the distal extent of the Easy Switch. Insert the Easy Switch and obturator over the reference tool. Finally, remove the obturator and reference tool. Repeat this process to insert a second easy switch in the anterior portal. The easy switch portal saver is flexible to allow a wide range of motion. ConMed's Signature Series pre-bent burrs feature a 15-degree curve to match the anatomical structures of the hip joint. Use the pre-bent spherical burr to remove the pincer bone. The press-fit suture anchor is used to repair the labrum back to the acetabular rim. First, insert the press fit drill guide and prepare a pilot hole for the 2.1 mm press fit single loaded anchor using the hole microfree mini driver. Then, insert the press fit peak suture anchor. Uncleat the sutures and remove the driver. Then, remove the guide. Use the Paradigm Relay Labral Suture Passer to pass the number 2 hi fi suture through the labrum. The Relay Suture Passer features a crescent curve designed by world-class hip arthroscopists to be optimized for hip anatomy. Next, use the Paradigm Curve Knot Pusher to tie knots to secure the labrum. The Knot Pusher features a 15-degree curve that is designed to simplify knot tying in hard-to-reach places and enable precise knot stack placement around the labrum. Then, use the katana suture cutter to cut the suture limbs. This process is then repeated using a second press-fit suture anchor. The 2.1 mm press-fit suture anchor combines small size with exceptional strength. After passing and tying the suture, a third anchor is placed and the sutures are passed and tied to complete the labral repair. With the repair complete, release the hip from distraction. Then, use ConMed's pre-bent spherical burr to remove the cam bone. Now the hip capsule is repaired. The Paradigm Hip System isn't just a new hip system. It's a paradigm shift in hip arthroscopy.